Acorn engineer. And in this video, I'll be showing you step-by-step -step on how to replace the Power's E720 cartridge and trim with an Acorn Controls RSV60. The first step that we're going to take is to remove the Power's E720 components. Those components consist of a handle, a sleeve, an excussion. We're going to have to turn off the stops and we're able to remove the Power's cartridge. The first component that we're going to remove is the handle. You can remove the handle by loosening the set screw located underneath the lever handle. Once the set screw is loosened, you can slide off the handle and you can also slide off the sleeve. Then we'll be removing the excussion plate held down by two Phillips screws. Once the excussion plate is removed, we need to turn off our water supply uh, by turning off the stops. There's a stop for the hot, and there's a stop for the cold. Once the water supply is shut off, we're able to remove our cartridge assembly. You give the bonnet cap a turn counterclockwise, and then you're able to remove by hand. Now that the cartridge assembly is out, we want to visually inspect inside the valve body to make sure there isn't any debris or O-rings left inside. So just rub your fingers in here, give it a good look, and make sure it's clean. Here is an overview of the Acorn Controls RSV16 components that you'll be installing. Those components consist of a cartridge, a bonnet cap, a valve stem, two limit stops, a snap ring, and your trim pack. Now that we've gone over the RSV16 components, we are ready to install. The first component that we're going to install is the cartridge assembly. If you notice on the cartridge, there's a hot and a cold labeling on each side. The hot will be to the left and cold will be to the right. You want to take the cartridge and slide it into the valve body until you feel it seat. Now that it's seated, we apply the valve stem to the cartridge and slide the bonnet cap over the stem, screwing it into the valve body. Once the bonnet cap is secured to the valve body, we want to tighten down the set screw located on the side of the bonnet cap. This set screw secures to the valve body ensuring that the bonnet cap doesn't rotate after installation. Now that the cartridge assembly is in place, we are now ready to set our limit stops. Now that your cartridge assembly has been installed, we are now ready to set our off and high temperature stops. For this portion of the installation video, a temperature measuring device and a handle control flow of water. Before we can set our stops, we need to supply water to the valve. We open up our stops that we closed earlier in the video. Now that we have opened up our stops and have water supplied to the cartridge, we are now ready to set our off stop. To set the off stop, we're going to slide the handle over the stem and rotate the stem two complete turns until the water shuts off. Once you rotated it twice and the water is shut off, go clockwise 90 degrees and come back until the water shuts off. By doing this, it primes the stem and makes it easy for the snap ring to be installed. Remove the handle and apply your off stop. Once the off stop has been installed, you rotate the handle counterclockwise to find your desired temperature. Using your temperature measuring device, measure the temperature of the water and set your stop to your desired temperature. You remove the handle and install your high temperature stop. Now that both stops are in place, we are now ready to apply our snap ring. Using snap ring pliers, 
Take the snap ring and slide it over the stem of the cartridge and set it in place. There's a groove on the stem that it'll seat in. Once it's seated, you are now ready to turn off your water and install your trim. Now that your cartridge is calibrated and your stops and snap rings are in place, we are now ready to install our trim. The first part is we're gonna slide the excussion over the valve and secure it by the two Phillips screws provided. Once the excussion is secure, we are now ready to install our handle. The handle slides over the valve stem and is fastened by a security screw on the outside. And that completes your installation of your Acor Controls RSV60. So that concludes our video. I hope this installation video was informative and helped you during your installation process. For further detailed instructions, please visit our website at www.acorneng.com. Thank you.